A Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory, go see Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double honor to the apostles, elder bishops, the great millstone, peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing this word of truth and sincerity, Shabbat Chanak. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, Shalom to the hopeful elect. And this is going to be an in transit lesson. I'm sorry, a walk and talk. All right, a walk and talk lesson, which that's in transit. And uh, more of a, a spontaneous lesson, just kind of turn on the turn it on the recorder as I, you know, head to a destination. But there was a couple of things that, you know, was coming to mind. So I'm not really sure exactly how it's going, you know, wherever the spirit takes it. But I did want to uh, speak on, you know, how all the little dirty secrets okay of esau you know is it's, it's literally starting to it start it's starting to bubble up and uh people are starting to um now i would say they, they're starting to realize all the things okay that our apostles and elders elder bishops were saying for years man prior to uh, YouTube when you go back into some of the old footage you know what I mean and uh and then how much more when you know it was a floodgate of truth all right um, uh, 2007 2008 all, you know all the way until now but really those beginning years when I mean just all type of truth was coming out and a lot of people bucked up and scoffed against it for example the Russian icons Right now, you got regular Jake bringing out the Russian icons, um, talking about how you know we you know we rule Europe, um, bringing out the, the books and getting all type of you know comments and video, uh, um, you know all type of views. But remember, the apostles, elder, they were the first ones to bring that out, man. Going all the way back to uh, one West. That's old. That's old information. Everybody is now getting hip to it. Another thing about the sacrifices that uh, you know these uh, celebrities have to make. These these men that are in these prominent positions uh, and women that want to go into Hollywood, how they have to sacrifice. You know, um, you know, a family member. You know, they have to do all type of satanic rituals. Okay, uh, a lot of. Uh, children trafficking and just a lot of demonic and satanic things are going on and apostles and elders they were saying this uh, a long time ago bringing out this information it's not this this is not uh, uh old uh, uh new information excuse me it's not new information this is old but now everybody's starting to get hip to it you know now everybody's starting to bring these things out and starting to believe these things but it is what it is you know, from our apostle elders on down, we've been speaking about these things. It is what it is. You you don't need to give uh, the men of the Lord the credit. The Most High is going to give the men of the Lord the credit. But I want to go into uh, Sir, Sirach, the 13th chapter, about the rich man. And when he speaketh, you know, somebody that has a, a prominent position or some type of a stat, a stature in this world. OK, for example, uh, Kanye West, uh, Kyrie Irving. When they speak, people actually listen to them. Um, but that's that. Hey, that's that's right out of the scriptures, man, about the, you know, the poor man's wisdom and despise and the rich man. Now, all of a sudden, people are believing all the things that the apostle and elders been saying right now, all of a sudden. But let me bring it up. But this is all scriptural. Uh, eventually, let me let me bring before I go there. Let me go to uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 25. This is the most high taking a veil off the people's eyes okay also it says uh in proverbs that uh, a, a a poor man is honored for his skill not probably it should be uh Sirach. a poor man is honored for his skill and a rich man um a rich man for his riches we we might bring that out but let me uh bring this out isaiah 25 and and seven and, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. 
okay, that, that gross darkness that's upon the whole world. Okay, uh, this mountain of Babylon the Great, uh, the, the, the power structure of the Edomites, which stems out of Babylon, that's their military power. You know, excuse me for the noise, a little windy, and I'm, you know, I'm outside walking, of course, to the Lord's will. I mean, it should, the, the audio should be cool. Okay. But this is what's going on. The Most High is taking that covering. Let me read it again. He will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Right. These things that were, you know, labeled as sea theories, you know, um, which are conspiracy. I mean, you could there's actual laws in U.S. laws about conspiracy. Like you can actually go to jail <laughs> for conspiracy. So. But, you know, they warp the people's minds. Most people don't know anything about um, uh, the meaning of words. Oh, another thing. Now, all of a sudden, people are average people. All of a sudden, everybody's going into the meaning of word. Oh, this word actually means this. This this means that. Right. Going into the the, eti the etymology, you know, trying to sound uh, smart. OK. Remember, the apostles, they, hey, apostle elder, they was teaching us. That years back, how especially the Apostle Gabar, Apostle Tahar, okay, all the apostles, all the elder bishops, how you got to go into the words and how uh, how much of an advantage you are um, when understanding, especially dealing with these Christians when they don't even know the simple meaning of words, going back into the Greek, going back into the Hebrew, going into the Latin, right, going into the, the root words, right, how much. Um, you know, of a of an advantage of understanding you 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 obtain when going into the uh, the root of the words, which that was not taught. Okay, that's definitely not taught in um, uh, uh, American curriculum. Give me a moment. Okay, but now people are going into the root of words. Now people are breaking down the Hebrew, breaking down the Greek. Not only these other Israelite groups. But these other podcasters, these other people uh, bringing out, oh, bringing out scriptures that they never brought out. Right. Revelation 12 and 12. You watch a random video and, and somebody bringing out Revelation 12 and 12. Or I heard a white woman bringing out. OK, on a TikTok video. Yeah. Say knows that he has for a short time. But this this is all the word just um, taking over the world. Essentially, there's another. Give me a second. Let me bring this out. I believe it's in Isaiah. 55 so all you know all the labor that the apostles elder bishops starting with them the men be, remember also the men before them and they they reverence you know, these men okay um abba okay high priest rei high priest shah high priest uh Yikwab, okay the, the seven they, they they taught us about uh, these men okay uh, certain men they went back into the world but they still the most I use them to lay down the foundation. A lot of the Hebrew that we know, the break, the, the breaking down of the Hebrew. OK, going into the different books, the, the different icons. OK, all that information was broken down and was given to us from the labor of other men. And we we've, we've now come into uh, their labors. But before that, remember, the apostles, they was doing the work when nobody was really listening. And then when they got on the YouTube, that's when. It, this truth really started to just uh, explode. Uh, they, they, they were uh, the teachers weren't backed into a corner anymore. Now, now, uh, you know, laborers are entering into more laborers. OK, remember, the one hundred forty four thousand. This is all prophecy. OK, but they kept being diligent. So the work that they did. OK, that's why we give double honors. The work that they did is pretty much laid, laid down the foundation of what we have now. OK, why we're able to to go into certain things and why the uh, how the world is the, 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 the direction of where the world is going now. OK, OK, the Christians, they're getting more. They're trying to get more on the level how to, you know, deal with the, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, uh, brothers, well studied, you know, random people going into, you know, breakdowns, trying to break down the scriptures. So all that all the work that we've been doing, man, it's actually let me bring this out. It's, hey, because this is the work of the Lord. OK, let me bring if the scriptures. Going, the scriptures can say it better than I can. Let me just get this scripture. 
Yep. Um, let me start up. Okay, Isaiah 55 and, and 9, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the, um, verse 10, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Right? This 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 word, man, is is literally covering the whole earth. It's consuming everything in its path. Okay, it's as water that water the green herb. Okay, that you know the whatever plant that grows gives meat to a man, which sustains man. That's that's how this word it's taking over the earth. It's also as fire. It's consuming everything in its path. Okay, it's also as a hammer. It's breaking in pieces everything in front of it. As well as it's healing. The healing, the, uh, the hopeful elect. is mending up the hopeful elect. It's, it's um, raising the, t the, 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 the tabernacles of David. The breaches is closing the breaches between the, the tribes. Okay, this is all, remember, everything in its proper... Um, order right now now we're at a point to where the floodgates are open uh you israelites that are hearing this you have you you literally have no excuse you got to go out you got to go teach that's what you know that's a great calling out <laughs> to the to the elect to go out and teach but remember it's going to be good fruit or good good fishes and bad fishes it's going to be unclean and clean it's going to be good fruit and, and unclean fruit OK, or, 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 you know, unripe fruit, if you will. OK. It shall not return unto me voice. So every video, whether there's a view or not. OK, I remember I had a um, it was almost like a vision or I was I'll just explain it. It's like I was dreaming. I was in between like a dream state. And um, I saw the apostles and they were speaking. It was very vivid. And I saw the apostles and when they were speaking, I actually saw vibrations. I, I literally saw the, the words that they were saying. They were vibrating. It was like the words were coming into a, like a physical form and they were vibrating to the four corners of the earth. So we, we're not we can't see the invisible things. Remember, there's more invisible things than visible. How about that? Right. We, we have we have sight. But, you know, we're only able to see in the third dimension. OK, there's. There's a lot more things that 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 really put our world together that make our world work like a computer. Right. You you get on the computer or your smartphone. For example, let's use the smartphone. Right. You're able to go to different apps. You're able to take pictures, videos. You're able to do all manner of, you know, wild things with the smartphone. But how many components are in the smartphone? You take open the you break open that smartphone, it's all type of things going on that you don't even see. So it's the same thing. All right. There's all type of things going on that you don't even see. We were able to read certain things and we were able to believe on certain things through faith. OK, but we can't see the invisible. There's a lot of th let's read it again. The most high word doesn't go out void. It, it's literally watering the whole earth. OK. OK, bring it. For the harvest, the harvest is, is we're almost at the harvest. Okay. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. See? So everything that the Lord has the, the true prophet speak, okay, um, it, 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 it accomplished that. Well, it's not going to it. I'm jumping the gun. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in a thing whereto I sent it. OK, and that that goes for, OK, all the prophets that, you know, have been raised up or even even the false prophets. The Lord has uh, certain false prophets. Right. They're they're uh, they're servants of the Lord, but just on the left hand side. All right. They they're uh, the word that they speak is, is for a, a purpose as well. Right. To lead to lead two thirds. OK. Into destruction. So the most high. So the most high words can be. Uh, fulfilled 
right? He told the angel, right? The, the angel to go and, and, and blind these people's eyes. Blind, blind, you know, you know, harden their heart. Okay? And he sent, he sent to them prophets that, that is going to keep, keep them in that low state, essentially. But you can't see it. See, you can't see the angels. So it's a lot, there's a lot going on in the background. So all this work that the, that the apostle elder bishops have been doing, and then even us younger brothers coming into this thing, whether you woke up 2007 or, or, on, on, or maybe a little bit earlier than that, you knew you might have knew you were Israelite, but the floodgates really came. And all the teaching looked like, seemed like nobody was listening at times. Hey, all, everything's hitting now. Okay, the, everybody is starting to understand a lot of people, you know, it's, 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 uh, it takes time. You know, it's, it's a, a portion. Every, every person comes in at their, you know, at their particular time. They might have, you know, took some time, but they, they're convinced. Or, or the, you know, they came, they came in right when they heard it. Or, or, the, or, you know, through the preaching of the word, some of the gainsayers are starting to believe. That's also part of the scriptures, right? But I find it ironic how all this stuff is come. I don't find it ironic. It's all, it's all prophetic. It's just, you know, you, you kind of be like, oh my goodness, you know. Now all of a sudden people want to listen, you know. Now all of a sudden, uh, uh, people are enlightened. They're waking up. But that's because of the work. That the men of Yah Bashima Shai have done. They have spoken the words of the Heavenly Father. Everything that we speak is going to come to pass. It's not only has a lot of things already come to pass, right? And uh, like the Lord said, I have declared the end from the beginning and things not yet done. Let me bring that out. Let me finish this. But everything that we've been saying is, is will, will come to pass and everybody will be confounded if, okay, um, they're not on the right side of prophecy. Okay, Isaiah, uh, I was reading that the other day. All those that are incensed against thee, you know, uh, that, 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 you know, come up against thee, the most high is going to confound. Okay, but let me see if there's a little bit more. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Because what's the what's the ultimate what's the ultimate goal It's for the word to be preached in Isaiah 20. Uh, I'm sorry, Matthew 24, the gospel to be preached to the four corners of the earth. And then what the end, the end will come. So this this is what's happening. The end is coming. And as the end is coming. OK, um, the most High is peeling back uh, the veil from off everybody's eyes let me let me actually go to another scripture excuse me i know i'm jumping around but you know let me just go where the spirit take me um that's a good one i don't want that one i think is it, is it 12 Give me a second. Yeah, Luke 12. Yep, Luke 12. So Luke 12. Right, Luke 12 and 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. All right, so hey, a, a one, one example, us being the Israelites. That is not being hid. The Most High, and we, we're going to go to uh, the book of Sirach. The Most High has made it to where, okay, uh, you know, he's making this thing more more global. He's, he's, he's making this thing, you know, he's putting this out in front of everybody. He's having certain Israelites come out, uh, certain celebrities come out and say that they're Israelites. I just, I just seen a, 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 a video of Apostle Elder Tahar just did i think i want to i want to say another brother brother did something about it or i seen it was a video or an article really vaguely about sizzler how he came out and he he claims to be an israelite as well because that's really the only thing that makes sense here it is the, the world is in i mean it's, it's in gross darkness there, there's no light in this world 
you you don't find uh, peace in Christianity, not as an Israelite. You even got uh, Edomites that that's a uh, you know that's a uh, what's the word? They they're saying oh to hell with Christianity. They just turn straight into Satanism. You know people denouncing their faith. You know just becoming atheists. So the, w w what's the only option for you Israelites, you Jakes, you Black Hispanic Native Americans, which tells you. The reason why you you're in these, you know, low situations, man, that gives you any hope of salvation, because in this world, what, what is your hope? Uh, they, they hey, what is the World Economic Forum saying? That's just a, a, a mouthpiece for the elites. OK, uh, you shall own nothing and be happy. All right. And they're going to put a microchip inside of you. That's that. That's pretty much it. That's that's your hope. Right. That's not hope. So. The Lord is making everything plain. He's, he's revealing everything. He's 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 all, all type of chess moves are being made. <laughs> OK, he's having certain celebrities bug out. Certain things uh, uh, Esau allows certain things or the, the most I put the spirit on Esau to say certain things. All his uh, Illuminati plans are coming out. All his witchcraft, all his evil is coming out. The fact that we're the Israelites, that's coming out. The most High's pulling the veil. All this, all the witchcraft that's upon the people. The pe people are starting to wake up. Now, there's certain levels of waking up, you know, wokeness. But people are starting to realize, you know, this this is, has been a big scam. And everything that started with our apostles and elders, the men before them, and, and we came into this thing. Now, now we're screaming at the housetop. Everything we've been saying is coming to pass. They just didn't like the messengers. They didn't like the, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American, rough, tough men, you know, cursing everybody out, you know, uh, uh, re going into the true history. You know, people say, oh, you're a liar. But now now you got prominent people coming out and saying these things. Right. And now all of a sudden everybody's believing it now. But let me go into that. There was another scripture I wanted to go to, but, you know, it, you know, let me just go into this. Um, Sirach. Sirach 13 and 3. The rich man has done wrong, and yet he threateneth withal. The poor is wrong, and he must entreat also. If thou be for his profit, let me, let me continue, let me jump, let me jump. Give me a second. Let me jump. Okay, verse 23. And it reads. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. See? Like you had uh, Ye. Right, you had Ye and uh, what's your, what's your boy's name from ISUPK? Captain Tazariak, right? He's he was spewing madness and, and everybody held the held held their tongue like, oh man, what he was saying was was so deep. You know? Because hey, that's Oh damn, I think this is close. Give me a second. Okay, still open. Okay, let me let me I wanna kinda I'm gonna go through this quickly. Let me read that again. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith. They extol it to the cloud. Let's look at this word extol. So if you basically if you broke, ain't nobody gonna hear nothing you say, man. But hey, the most high, hey, he's beautiful because they're gonna actually see it before their eyes. Um a wizard of Solomon the the, the fifth chapter. Everybody's gonna see what the poor man has been saying and that it was it was truth it was nothing but pure truth but they couldn't accept it okay uh extol meaning so you got somebody that's worth any type of money right they say something man okay let's get e x t o l right e x T O L. 
praise enthusiastically, extol. Okay. Uh, let's get here. Okay. This is in a Merriam-Webster. The other definition was just on uh, Google. I just Googled it. Extol. To praise highly, glorify. Oh, that's all we need. Okay. Let's read it again. When a rich man speak of every man hold of his tongue, and look what he saith, they extol it to the clouds. So everybody shuts their damn mouth, because he got a billion dollars. He worth fifty million. He can say some wild shit. He can say some crazy shit that don't even make sense. But they're going to extol it. They're going to praise it. They're going to glorify it to the cloud. It's going to be the highest level. You got people that literally will live their life. Oh yeah, some you know this celebrity said something when I was eight years old, and you know it moved me to do this. But if the poor man speak, that's us. That's that's us. We the poor man. We ain't got no money. We 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 we, we ain't got them riches. You know, sir, brothers got certain things, but we we ain't no no level of no celebrity. Okay, a hey, certain brothers they had a chance to, you know, be in that realm of the Most High, woke them up to get out of that. Okay, because they a hey, now is coming out what you actually have to participate. Okay. You gotta give up. You gotta give up your soul. You gotta lose your soul to get those those corrupt riches at that. And all these people that have these riches, see, this is why it's gonna be so beautiful because the Most High is getting ready, okay, to uh, take everybody's riches, okay, to where no longer are you gonna be able to boast in your riches. It's gonna just be, hey, you gonna have to, uh, you know, believe, hey, you gonna have to have a, a, a God on your side, okay. But if the poor man speaks, they say. What fellow is this? And if he stumbled, they will help to overthrow him. So, for example, when apostles came out and were saying all these things that were, oh, yeah, at time, it, it was outrageous to somebody coming, coming, you know, out of the world, you know, like un understanding what's really understanding what's really going on. You shit, you like, damn. It's, it's almost it's almost unbelievable. OK. And, and what did people, hey, people scoff, they scorn. Uh, for example, the, uh, the FEMA camps. Now that's, that's common knowledge. If you don't know that, then, I mean, damn. Now, hey, you watch every, every video, they're going in on what? The, uh, the RFID microchip. They're going in on, uh, CBDCs. Okay, this was spoken about way, a while back. But do they, do they, do they actually give credit to who credit is due? No, absolutely not, but that's okay. We're going to get the credit, okay, in the kingdom. That's when we're going to be extolled to the clouds, but it's going to be righteous, okay? It's going to be, you, it's going to be, you, it's going to be on a different level than the little fame, the little glory that you can get here on this side, okay? Um, oh, you know, I should have started. Let me, let me start at 21. Let me start at 20. As the proud hate of humility, so does the rich abhor the poor. A, a rich man beginning to fall is held up by held up of his friends. But a poor man being being down is thrust away by his friends. When a rich man is fallen. He has many helpers. He speak of things not to be spoken. He can say whatever he can say, whatever he want. And yet. Men justify him just like this Kanye West thing. He literally said that he sacrificed his mom, right? And you got people, you got people on the comment board saying, We love you, may God protect you, protect this man at any cost. We love you, Kanye West. When he, he's a he's a blatant worshiper of Satan, but you see, they'll disregard, they'll disregard all his all that demonic shit that he was doing. Because he has influence, because he has money. Okay, he can say whatever he wants. He can say he worships Satan. Okay, and people still love him. Okay? But here it is, you got a poor man that's saying he worships the Most High and everybody hates him. But that's just the way that it is. It's okay. And, uh, he speak of things not to be spoken and yet men justify him. The poor man slipped and yet they rebuked him too. He spake wisely and could have no place. Okay, and then I'll read verse 20. 
three again. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. And look what he says. They extol. So we know what that word extol means. Into the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Okay. Riches are good unto him that has no sin. And poverty is evil to the mouth of the ungodly. So I'm going um, to close it there. You know what I mean? I pray, you know, the lesson was edifying to the next time. Shalom to the leg.